Hey everybody, welcome to the Resident Evil 2 Remake. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find the two spare keys for the Weapon Locker Keypad. And of course, just like any other guide you're going to see on YouTube, spoiler warning. You may be spoiled on something that you don't want to be spoiled on, and I'm sorry if I do that to you, but this is where you're going to find both of the spare keys. The very first spare key is going to be found on the second floor shower room. This is the area you encounter where there's a bunch of steam coming out the wall and you can't actually go through that area just yet. You're going to find something called the portable safe. This portable safe is going to contain the spare key. These safes come down to trial and error. Basically what you're trying to do is get all the lights to light up green and if you hit the specific order in which they appear, all of them will turn green and the safe will open. Now for the sake of continuity, I'll show you what I ended up getting for my combination. I'm not sure if this is the same across all games or if it's completely random every time you play, but this is the combination that I got and you have to press these keys in order and if you do, all lights will turn green. And of course, you will get the first spare key. The second spare key, unfortunately, can't be obtained right away. You're going to have to play a little bit through the story in order to get the required items to move forward. Now, this is the part where it's going to get a little spoiler-ish, so please be forewarned. After you collect all three medallions and open up the secret underground basement of the Raccoon City Police Department, some events will unfold and that will lead you to the parking garage of the police department. In the parking garage, you'll meet Ada Wong, and after this cutscene plays, you'll be able to actually go through some of the doors that are down here. One of the doors will lead you to the morgue, and in the morgue, you'll have the opportunity to pull drawers out. Once you find the correct drawer, which will be all the way over here, you can actually pick up the diamond-shaped key. Once you progress a little bit more through the story, you'll make your way back into the Raccoon City Police Department. With this diamond-shaped key, make your way up to the second floor, head through the lounge, and make your way to the linen room. Once you're in the linen room, you will find another portable safe. Now, once again, for the sake of continuity, this is the code that I got to unlock my safe. I don't know if it's going to work for everybody back at home, but you can give it a try for sure. Once you do, you'll get the spare key. Now, at this part, I must stress to you, before you left this police department, things were much safer. There are a lot more dangerous things lurking around the corner. More zombies, there are more liquors, and I did not take this into consideration when trying to make my way back to the weapons locker. There will be liquors waiting for you on the ceiling, on the walls, and zombies are everywhere. So if you don't have enough ammunition, it might not be the time to tackle this specific area. But of course, once you make your way back to the weapons locker, placing those spare keys into the pad will allow you to open up all of the remaining items. The most valuable one here is another hip pouch, which will extend your inventory by two. Anywho, that is going to conclude today's guide. If you are new to the channel and you haven't yet, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers and if this video helped you out take a moment of your time to click that like button down below it's much appreciated thank you all so much for the support and i will catch you on the next video peace